and more than 2,000 tribes and groups from all across the country were in Albuquerque over the weekend for the Gathering of Nations, most of them bringing their beloved regalia with them for the biggest powwow in North America. But a family from Wisconsin is leaving empty handed. That's after thieves stole all of their regalia. Anchor Sasha Leninger explains it's a story you'll see only on 7. It's what families look forward to every year. Putting on their beautiful regalia and celebrating their culture. But for the Webster family, the 2022 Gathering of Nations didn't have a fairy tale ending. The window was broken and everything was everything was gone. Everything but one set of um, eagle feathers. All of her son's regalia stolen along with the regalia of his two friends. You work your whole life and you know things have been passed down from generation to generation and you know it's irreplaceable. It's part of you. Josephine Webster, her two sons and aunt came to the Duke City for the gathering. We originally came here because my son was um, waiting for a kidney donor and um, his make a wish was to come to Gathering of Nations. But COVID happened and in the meantime, her son Floyd got a kidney and once things were back to normal, they came. It was like a no brainer for him. So he was super happy to be here. That happiness soon turned to shock. They came in after, you know, the power was over. They went back out there a couple hours to go grab their stuff and it was already gone. Their car windows smashed and everything inside stolen. We hold them so sacred and you know, I mean, it was a mistake. Obviously they should have brought them in right away. We're from a small town, so he didn't think that it was going to be, you know, an hour or two was going to be a huge difference. Take a close look at the regalia. You see Floyd's on the left, his friend Silius in the middle and DJ on the right. It includes two sets of eagle bustles, a traditional bustle, all the beadwork and their roaches, which is their headpieces. Everything happens for a reason. We're going to pray for the people that stole this. We're going to pray that we get the outfits back. And if we don't, we move on. But they hope they're found so they can continue to celebrate their culture at each powwow they go to. Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News. And the Webster family was staying at a hotel off of Iliff Road and I-40 on the west side when their car was broken into. If you happen to see their regalia, please call Albuquerque Police.